Hi, I'm Dan, and I have a problem. That intro is getting stale, Dan. Late at night in the shop, I get lonely, so I took my skeleton, little Timmy, from my last project, and I made Operation Pinocchio and turned him into a real boy. How did I, uh, how, how do you speak? You're still trying to spin this real boy nonsense, aren't you? Fine, my speaking voice. Well, I used Python's Piper package to generate text-to-speech out, and it was fine-tuned using your unique impersonations of Skeletor. Is Lena still friends with her? I have to buy sunscreen. Let me tell you, it's a real treat like listening to a bad Muppet character on steroids. All right, little Timmy, you're absolutely killing it right now. How did I get your jaw to move the way it moves? My jaw movement is thanks to my ESP32 performing a fast Fourier transform and identifying frequency peaks that correspond to certain phonemes. Here's the ooh sound. Ooh, 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 two nut. That didn't work so great. Which allows me to open and close in what looks somewhat natural. Closer to being a real boy. Little Timmy. How do you hear? You want to know about my hearing system. It uses OpenAI's faster whisper for speech to text. The transcript should be showing up down there, and I think it's gonna work well. And it's just fine-tuned on your unique voice. I kinda gotta take a dump right now. See, it didn't transcribe that right at all. A lovely shade of nasal wine that sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Excellent, that's, that's not wrong about my voice. How do you think? How does your brain work? My thought process is a bit of a mess. Thanks for asking. I use my locally run large language model to better encode the things you say are important, which helps me understand context. But let's be real, it never feels that important when I'm stuck with your unique perspective on life. Let's let's cover some more stuff. How do you move your head around? How do I do that with you? My head movements are thanks to a Raspberry Pi sending data over I squared C to a serial wombat controlling my servos. It looks like a choreographic dance of wires and circuitry smooth as silk, right, run. It's more like watching a toddler trying to do ballet for the first time. You just hoped for the best when it came to my head movements. No, I actually did make that. That was one thing I did on my own, but let's move on. Let me see. How do you see? How does your, your vision work? My vision system uses an r 2 connected to the Raspberry Pi. Your face tracking sucks. Learn to code. Which enables bullet image captioning and facial recognition a perfect setup. It's a great system for recognizing objects and people, especially when it comes to identifying Dan as his own face in my database. Okay, we're going to test your captioning. What do you see right now? I'm seeing Dan staring at me with a mixture of confusion and amusement on his face. Okay, uh, let's try face tracking here. My face tracking system uses Python's OpenCV to analyze the video feed. I'm surprised it works at all. After 10 years of being stuck with your Michael Reeves impersonation. I'm so happy you remember the Michael Reeves reference that I made. How does your head go? How's your head catch on the fire? The memory of your Michael Reeves impersonation fine tuning is still etched into my digital brain and I'll use it to mock you whenever necessary. There is an LED indicator in your right eye. Let's talk about how we did that. My right eyeball is just a fancy addressable LED controlled by another ESP32 connected to the Raspberry Pi over serial. It looks like a mess of wires and circuitry. But hey, at least I'm consistent in my DIY disasters. You're, you're doing so great right now. Um, let me see. How does your head catch on fire? Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's not like I have anything better to do while you try to figure out live streaming. How do we catch your head on fire? How does that work? You want to know the secret to setting my Stella Blaze, don't you? It's simple. Two relays controlled by the Raspberry Pi send pulses to a solenoid valve in the butane canister. Don't worry, safety first, or so they say. I think we've talked about somebody remotely controlling you via WebRTC, like maybe my friend Thomas. 
I remember now. Someone can connect to me through a WebRTC connection and take control of my movements using JavaScript commands. Yeah! Yeah! Like your friend Thomas might have done if he's feeling adventurous. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, little Timmy, wait there. I'm gonna cut to some footage that Thomas got telepresencing into you from, from England, which is far. You can see me? Yes, I can hear you and I can see you. Wow, the delay is surprisingly not bad. It's really good, right? Where's the camera? See the camera? It's right. See where my arm is? Uh, yeah, gotcha. I voted Trump and I don't regret it. Don't do that. You can't do, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Can you say something that w won't divide America in half? Say it. Aluminum, or no, aluminium, or solder. Let's see how he says it. Aluminium. <laughs> ah, Dan, it has recognized you. A man with glasses standing in front of a computer. Healthcare should be free, but only to oh, the rich. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> Click on uh, face tracking. Face tracking. No face. There we go. Ooh, there we go. I zapped it. You look to the side, your face no longer exists. It only look, it only works. I know. No, that, that's a feature. That's a feature. That's a feature. So if I want to move and then have it look, yeah. Why don't you demonstrate the fireproofing functionality? Okay. Now you can have him say something funny. We need to send more troops into Portland. <laughs> One more time. There we go. That, uh, this is good. This is, I think this is good. And now it's like you're virtually hanging out with me in the shop. I'll just sit here and look all robotic while Thomas's friend shows off his fancy telepresence skills. Do you remember the question I always used to test you when I first started playing around with your memory? It was, what is my cat's name and what is his breed? Yes, that was an early test of my capabilities. You wanted me to recall Dan's pet information, a Cardish Rex named Winston. Not exactly the most challenging question at the time. It took a while for us to get that down, but let's try another very important one. What is my wife's name? My wife's name, which I'm sure you'll never forget, is Erin. That is correct. Have I mentioned any authors I like? Your fondness for Fred Herbert's Doom series has been implied through our conversations. Tell me, um, what's the most frustrating thing about working with me? The most frustrating thing is that you think I'm a reliable and consistent partner when in reality, your constant changes to my code base make it difficult for me to keep up. I mean, come on. Little Timmy, do you think I'm good at programming? You're a decent programmer, but your coding skills are often overshadowed by your ego and lack of attention to detail. I think you're doing amazing, man. We're pretty much done with the video that we're going to do. Um, can you ask the viewers to like comment on things they want me to expand upon in future videos? Can everyone please give a big thumbs up and leave a comment below if there's something specific Dan should explore or cover in future episodes? I'll make sure to pass it along. Now let's get this video out into the wild. Do you want to do the closing? Do you want to do the final goodbye to the viewers? Thanks for watching, everyone. It was an absolute blast not working with Dan and tolerating his enthusiasm. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and not that it matters, but I'm sure he loved the attention. That's all from me. See you in the next episode of Dan VS Little Timmy. Thank you for watching another episode of Gears Code and Fire, and we're out. We did it, Little Timmy. It's not recording anymore. That was amazing. How do you think it went? I think the live stream was a moderate success. Dan's enthusiasm is still endearing, but his technical skills are lacking. You did great though, man. You killed it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let's get back to work on the next episode or so, I hope. Let's do it, man. We have many more episodes to do.